Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, bro. We'll see you, man. It was For good sure, to bro. see you at the Daily Map. For sure, bro. Next time, man. For sure, we we'll will. get you in the Bible yeah. of the Year. Thanks, then, man. Uh, I'll have to check that book out, too. Bro. All right. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Tomorrow, the Daily Mass. Well, peace out, brother. God bless at the airport. I'll be praying for you that you don't get into an accident. Well, peace. We'll see. I will, I will. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. It's our Bible in the Year. Today is... Today is Wednesday. We're at the Wednesday Daily Mass at the noon after the Daily Mass at the Cathedral here. And we are doing the book of Maccabees chapter we are on book of Maccabees chapter let's see today uh, expedition of Bechaiches and Alchemius chapter 7 and we'll begin with the prayer in the name of the Father Son Holy Spirit Amen thank you God the Father for this day meeting friends meeting our friend Milo and uh, attending with him at the mass at the daily mass and please God pray I pray for Milo and and that he um, picks up his um, relative at the airport and his friend, um, whichever person uh, he picks up from the airport, God, that he doesn't get into a car accident, that he drives safe, and he's able to attend Mass tomorrow with us um, again, God, in the church, in your house of God, in your holy temple here at the cathedral. As we, your children, your Christians, your chosen children of Israel, God, we adore you and and uh, sacrifice this day to you, God, in this time with our treasure and time. God, uh, please, we pray for all our friends and family out there, that they have safe travels, too, as well. Uh, just like Milo, that they are safe in their way, and so that way uh, they don't get into accidents, and that way they can uh, be happy and joyful with us, and, and that way we may be able to see them in the church and visit them more often in our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, guys. Chapter. We are on chapter seven. Expedition of Bacchides and Alchemius. In the year 151, Demetrius, son of Seleucus, set out from Rome, arrived with a few men in a city on the seacoast, and began to rule there. As he was preparing to enter the royal palace, of his ancestors, the soldiers seized Antiochus and Lysias to bring them to him. When he was informed of this, he said, Do not show me their faces. So the, soldier, so the soldiers killed them, and Demetrius sat on the royal throne. Then all the lawless and impious men of Israel came to him. They were led by Alcimus, who desired to be high priest. They made this accusation to the king against the people. Judas and his brothers have destroyed all your friends and have driven us out of your driven us out of our country. So now send a man whom you trust to go and see all the havoc Judas has done to us and to the king's land, and let him punish them and all their supporters. Then the king chose Bechides, one of the king's friends, governor of west of Euphrates, a great man in the kingdom and faithful to the king. He sent him and the impious Alcimus, to whom he granted the high priesthood with orders to take revenge on the Israelites. They set out and on arriving in the land of Judah with a great army, sent messengers who spoke deceitfully to Judas and his brothers in peaceful terms. But these paid no attention to their words, seeing that they had come with a great army. A group of scribes, however, gathered about Alcimus and Bacchides to ask for a just agreement. The Hasidians were the first among the Israelites to seek peace with them. For they said, a priest of the line of Aaron has come with the army, and he will not do us any wrong. He spoke with them peacefully and swore to them we will not try to injure you or your friends so they trusted him but he arrested 60 of them and killed them in one day according to the text of scripture the flesh of your saints they have strewn and their body or the flesh of your saints they have strewn and their blood they have shed round about jerusalem 
and there was no one to bury them. The fear and dread of them came upon all the people who said, there is no truth or justice among them. They violate the agreement and the oath they swore. The Chides withdrew from Jerusalem and pitched his camp in Beth Zeph. He had many of the men arrested who deserted to, who deserted to him, throwing them into the great pit. He handed the province over to Alcimus, leading troops to help him, while he himself returned to the king. Alcimus spared no pains to maintain his high priesthood, and all those who were disturbing their people gathered about him. They took possession of the land of Judah and caused great distress in Israel. When Judas saw all the evils that Alcimus and his men were bringing upon the Israelites, more than even the Gentiles had done, he went about all the borders of Judea and took revenge on the men who had deserted preventing them from going into the country. But when Alcimus saw that Judas and his followers were gaining strength and realized that he could not oppose them, he returned to the king and accused them of grave crimes. Defeat of Nicanor. Then the king sent Nicanor, one of his famous officers, who was a bitter enemy of Israel, with orders to destroy the people. Nicanor came to Jerusalem with a large force and deceitfully sent to Judas and his brothers this peaceable message. Let there be no fight between me and you. I will come with a few men to meet you peace peaceably. So he came to Judas, and they greeted one another peaceably. But Judas's enemies were prepared to seize him. When he came, uh, when he became aware that Nicanor had come to him with treachery in mind, Judas was afraid and would not meet him again. When Nicanor saw that his plan had been discovered, he went out to fight Judas near. Kephar Salomon. About 500 men of Nicanor's army fell. The rest fled to the city of David. After this, Nicanor went uh, up to Mount Zion. Some of the priests from the sanctuary and some of the elders of the people came out to greet him peaceably and to show him the Holocaust that was being offered for the king. But he mocked and ridiculed them, defiled them, and spoke disdainfully. In a rage he swore, If Judas and his army are not delivered to me at once, when I return victorious, I will burn this temple down. He went away in great anger. The priests, however, went in and stood before the altar and the sanctuary. They wept and said, You have chosen this house to bear your name, to be a house of prayer and petition for your people. Take revenge on this man and his army, and let them fall by the sword. Remember their blasphemies, and do not let them continue. Nicanor left Jerusalem and pitched his camp at Beth Horon, where the Syrian army joined him. Where the Syrian army joined him. But Judas. But Judas camped in Adassa, and 3,000 men here, Judas uttered this prayer. When they who were sent by the king blasphemed, your angel went out and killed a hundred and eighty-five thousand of them. In the same way, crush this enemy before us today, and let us rest now that Nicanor spoke, and let us rest know that Nicanor spoke wickedly against your sanctuary. Judge him according to his wickedness. The armies met in battle on the 13th day of the month Adar, Nicanor's army was crushed, and he himself was the first to fall in the battle. When his army saw that Nicanor was dead, they threw down their arms and fled. The Jews pursued them a day's journey from Edessa to near Gezara, blowing the trumpets behind them as signals. From all the surrounding villages of Judea, people came out and closed in on them. They hemmed them in, and all the enemies fell by the sword. Not a single one escaped. Then the Jews collected the spoils and the booty. They cut off Nicanor's head and his right arm, which he had lifted up so arrogantly. These they brought to Jerusalem and displayed there. The people rejoiced greatly and observed that day as a great festival. They decreed that it should be observed every year on the 13th of Adar. And for a short time, the land of Judah was quiet. 
chapter 8, the treaty with the Romans. We'll begin tomorrow, and with that, we'll close in the prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God the Father, for this day, this blessed day that you provide us with our family, our friends, our loved ones in life. Help us to reunite with them, God, more and more, all the days in our life that you allow us to live, God, to spend peace and joyful celebration and praise with them in your holy mass, your holy Catholic mass, one of these days, God, in your holy sanctuary, your holy temple, honor. In your name we pray, amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.